You got anything stronger? Of course. Last thing you need is a drink, Lois. Thanks, Clark. You sound like my mother on prom night. How do I look? If this were a prom, you'd be crowned queen. Your date's a lucky man. Do I detect a note of jealousy from the notoriously nice Clark Kent? Careful my date doesn't hear you. He might just have to take you down. I'd like to see him try. You know what they say. All's fair in love and war. And what's it gonna be for us, Lois? Love or war? Clark, sounds like you're asking me out on another date. If I was, would you say yes? Tell you what I'd say. Oliver. What are you doing here? Well, you wanted this television tryst to make an impression, right, Lois? My blind date is with you. Well, technically, your blind date's leaving in the elevator. I paid him to go seek his 15 minutes of fame somewhere else. Wow. Uh, I always kind of took you for a beer girl. No, no. Uh, only the finer things in life for Lois Lane. Oh, yes, right. Of course. Then a toast. <laughs> That's not. Oliver, it's bad enough that I catch you dragging yourself through the mud again. But now you're bound and determined to ruin my date. Okay, that meeting that you walked in on, that was someone I was actually helping. <laughs> well, you obviously helped her out of her clothes. Very funny. And I'm not here to sabotage you. I just thought your audience might want a date with Metropolis's most eligible billionaire bachelor. It'd be me. I guess it wouldn't hurt the ratings. Okay. You got 10 minutes to explain yourself. Well, I'm only gonna need one. Because there's really only one reason why I came here. I never finished saying what it is that I loved about you. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. <sighs> Lois, what's going on? I don't know. Let me just skip to the end. The thing I love about you the most is that you're still in my life. Because you're still in my heart. Jack, please.